Matt and Trey work with Bobby, and when I get my instructions, it's through Bobby, and to a large extent, Stephen Arim is the music director. It's not a big band, but we do pretty well. I mean, I'm not going to tell you all my techniques, otherwise you'll get my next job, but I mean, there's a way of combining, uh, you know, a, a sampled string synthesizer, which can sound awful, but discriminately you put in one real violin, we get away with a lot. There's nine of us down in the pit, and all we've tried to do orchestrationally, and with the vocal arrangements as well, is like, how do you deliver all of this insane comedy that just keeps coming at you and coming at you in a creative and exciting way and keep supporting that, you know what I mean? Rather than kind of covering it over by adding too much things. So what we've tried to do is, as we keep adding layers, just kind of keep building. Just the idea of having 12 great singing guys, like the whiff and poofs basically, was super exciting for Steven. To have a great singing white ensemble and a great singing African American ensemble, holy cow, it was just a field day for him as far as the vocals. Hello, my name is Elder Young. Hello, did you know that Jesus lived here in the USA? You know, we were able to wed a whole bunch of different styles. For instance, like the stuff that starts the show is very, you know, kind of squaring up with people. And then, you know, we get to Africa and all of a sudden we have like these polyrhythms going on within the songs and stuff. And then we get to explore a more rockin' side of one of the other characters as his journey begins at the end of the first act. But what's awesome about their writing is everything is so true to the characters and the story that they're telling. You know, it's not just like, hey, let's do a, you know, let's do a swing number with a bunch of gay Mormons, you know. It's not a, you know, it's, it, it, it actually all ties together in such a cool way. There's that through line, and that, that's actually what makes scoring for theater totally different than, than just, you know, an album of, of ten songs. As a music director, I basically had the privilege of taking Matt and Trey and Bobby's work and kind of expanding on it, and in a nutshell, making it sound pretty. <laughs> to get to take these incredible songs and add a couple of layers of my own to their great work and do it in collaboration with them, it's been a thrill.